No, Pat. You were what? You were born. Born in Knocknagiha. In Knocknagiha, uh, in Newport. Um, it's an Irish word. It's actually it means the hill of the wind. And I was born on the twenty third of December, nineteen fifty three. And the second eldest of four children. Mm -hmm. I have two sisters and one brother. And you went to school in Newport? Newport. Newport National School, yeah? Yeah. Who was teaching you down there at that time? Um, Tommy Kelly taught me in Newport. And um, I finished school then and I went working. Uh, my first job was in Abbey Villa Guesthouse. And I remember my first week's wages was twelve pounds a week. Well, it wasn't bad that time, was it? It was a lot of money that time. It was a lot of money. Who owned it? Abbey Villa. Uh, Martin John Murray, and his wife Dot. And that's the one beside the bridge in Boris Beside Road. the bridge in. In Newport. In Newport. Newport. Town. Uh, outside town, uh, uh, as you proceed towards Mulrenny. Mulrenny, yeah, yeah. And uh, what kind of tourists were you getting there? Were they Irish or foreign? They were all English uh, people at that time. They used to come over fishing. And they'd be fishing uh, on the river. And I used to get an odd chunk of this fish off the fishermen. Which river was that? Uh, Beltra. Beltra, yeah. And was the fishing good there that time? Fishing was very good that time. Would they get you a lot there, would you? Yeah. Salmon? Salmon and trout. And sea trout? Yeah. And how big would they be that time? Pardon? How big would they be? Oh, fish? it would be 10, 12 pounds yeah. weight of salmon. Okay, right. Yeah. And what was your job in the Abbey that time when you were. I used to do the washing up and I used to also weed the garden. Okay, so you were doing all the kind of jobs, yeah? Every kind of a job. It was <coughs> great. And what did you do next? And then I worked in Mulroney Hotel for a few years. Did you? And, and then I, I. It was closing and. I went for an interview to Castle Bar for to get into Ashford Castle. Yeah. And it was like getting into Buckingham Palace at the time. It was great to get into it. Mm. So Rory Murphy interviewed me in Castle Bar. What year, what year was that about? Well, it's 38 years 30. ago. Well, that's what that I'm doing. Yeah, good okay. on dates. But um, I remember getting the telegram that I had the job got. There was no telephones at that mm. time. And I got the telegram. And I had to go up again to see Rory Murphy. And I'm there since. So did you go from Mulroney to Ashford? Ashford Castle, yes. Straight up? Straight up. And how long were you in Mulroney for? I was there for two seasons, I think. And who was manager that time down there? A uh, man by the name of Niall Fitzpatrick. He passed away. He was from mm. Waterford. Yeah. And who else was there at the time? Um, there was different people there at the time, you know. Can you remember who was in the bar or the office or any of the... I remember John Joyce, he John? was a porter there. Yeah. The Malloy brothers used to work there. Did they work there, did they? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. they play there? They didn't entertain there at the time? They did, they? yeah, yeah they, they used to play, yeah. Yeah. And what was that hotel like that time? It was lovely, it was, was wonderful, it? yeah. It was... Um, was there high standard? It was. Mm. And who was the chef there, can you remember? Uh, chef was Johnny Carroll. Johnny Carroll. Yeah. And I think he's in Galway now. And uh, who was the head barman there? I think uh, Michael Malloy. From? Mulroney. Well, one of the Malloy there. Malloy brothers. And who was the, in the office? Um, do you know, I can't really remember. It's was Sheila Morden there? She was. Sheila was there. And Mel, Miss, uh, Mrs. Morden was there. Mel Morden's wife was in reception. Okay. And what kind of tourists were they getting up there that time? A uh, lot of English people. Again, English. Yeah. At that time. A lot of English people coming to the west of Ireland at that time. There were, years ago, yeah. Mm. And why do, why do you think they stopped? Well, I don't know. Now mm. we seem to have got a lot of Americans coming. Mm. There. Yeah. But there's quite a few English coming over now. Mm. So then you went uh, up to well, up to Ashford? Yes. And what was it like up there when you went up? Uh, I remember having to get a taxi up. Um, my mother, my late mother came with me. And uh, I got the taxi up, and uh, the place was closed at the time. It used to close in the winter, and it, uh, it was opening in March. And um, it was all curtains closed and everything, but 
then I started opening the curtains when the hotel opened and hoovering it and getting it ready and uh, I never looked back since. And what did, what did you start out at? A porter. A porter, yeah. yeah. And you read that since? I'm there, yes, all the time. We're so one big happy family up there in Ashford, as I have always said. We're, we all work together as a team. Uh, the, the boys, the maintenance men, played a trick on me one day. They said, uh, Paddy, can you come in and look up the chimney to see uh, is the brush going to come down? And the next thing, the brush came down and there was two buckets of soot on top of me and my uniform. <laughs> they played a big trick on me. <laughs> and and that was the funniest one. Was that in the hotel? It was, yeah. In the bar? Was it a big, was in the bar, yeah. the big fireplace, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was funny. That yeah. was the funniest one. <clears throat> How old is the hotel? It's dating back 1228. 12, that's when the whole thing started? Yeah. And what was in it first? Was it? it was owned by the Guinnesses and the Hogart family. Yeah, well, they came later on, didn't they? In the last... The date, in the yeah. 1800s and all that, yeah. Yeah. You so can know about the different stonework, you know, if you look over, you see the different... Yeah, there was a few extensions to put on over the year, weren't there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a very pleasant place to go to. It's a beautiful place yeah. now. Well, it's beautiful as well. So it's been taken over recently. It's been taken over by the toll mm. And revamped big time. Oh, yes. They've spent uh, nearly 50, 000, 50 million on the place. The gardens are beautiful. And we also have Mrs. T's coffee shop across the road. And... Um, we have a lovely shop there and you can buy wax coats and everything mm. in it. I'm wearing one at the moment. And um, it's it's a lovely place. We do a fantastic high tea mm. there, but you have to book it to get in. Mm. Did they always do a high tea or is that a new thing they came in with? The... They did, but ne it was never as good as the one now we're doing. It's class now. It's beautiful. And you've seen a lot of people come and go there? Yes, yes. Um, Famous people? Well, uh, the most one I can remember was uh, the President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rory Murphy and myself was at the chopper to meet him. Yeah. And Pierce Broslin and Sheridan Stone and Woody Allen and uh, many others. Of course, I met the Kennedys. I met Jean Kennedy Smith and uh, I met the late Maureen O'Hara. She came there and um, I took care of her. and. Um, she was back a couple of years ago, wasn't she? She was. She was down for the Kong Festival. And she opened it. Uh, they were celebrating the 60th anniversary of the White Men. Uh, did you meet her? The I did, On the yeah. return visit, yeah? Yeah, I took care of her. I have even a photograph of her with me, the two of us together. Do you remember any more personalities you met there? If there was so many? Well, there were so many, you know, and there still is a lot of people coming now. It's, it's getting better now since we... Uh, since we came the best hotel in the world. Yeah. Did the Clintons, Clintons go there, did they? No, the Clintons yeah. were never there. Bono? Uh, you too? Uh, well, they had a house up the road from there, you yeah. two. Uh, up the road. So they didn't need to come in to see? I believe they had been there, but I mightn't have seen them. Yeah. <laughs> so you've, how many managers have you seen in your time there? Oh, quite. Rory Murphy was the first one you were Rory remember. Murphy, yeah. yeah. And who came after Rory? Uh, Mr. Ratchford from, uh, he came from Drumall in Castle. Okay. Niall Ratchford, and he's running, he's the manager and director now. He's running the show up there at the moment. Doing, so, he's doing a wonderful job. So I've only had two managers in the 38 years then? Yeah. That'd be right? Yeah. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Murphy was with me for about 21 years, 20 years. Yeah. So it's a great, great... He's retired now. So it's a great, a great sense of continuity there. He comes there. in to see us now and again. Yeah. Oh, he's a good band of slow men, isn't he? Yeah, he is, eh? band of slow men. Good, good band of slow men. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you've gone around the world a bit as well, have you? Yes, yeah. I have been to Rome, I've been to Fatima, and I've been to Lourdes, and I've been to Paris, <coughs> and I, I go to the United States every year. I have a lot of family on my mother's side out there. Mm. My mother was born in Chicago. Was she? She was born in Central Avenue. Mm. You had a great dedication to your mother. I was, yes, yeah. very, very close to my mother. Mm. Big loss when she left. Yes, I miss her all the time. But know. she got a good age, didn't she? She was a good age. She was 84 and, you know, um, life has to go on. Mm. You know, you have to keep moving. So you like Newport? I like Newport, yes. That's your home place? It's my hometown. I, I have a nice house looking over the mountains. Mm. What do you like about Newport? 
Uh, I like the bridge and I like the the greenway yeah. and um, I like the people and everything, you know. Uh, it's a wonderful place and they made a fantastic job of the greenway there now and it's good to see it. Is it helping the town, do you think? Oh yes it is. Uh, everything helps the town. Um, uh, quite a lot of visitors come there. They come from all over and they all stop there and buy a... Uh, a bottle of water and a coffee mm. and a sandwich going on the greenway. So it's great to see yeah. that. Plenty of bikes. Plenty of bikes. Plenty of bikes, yeah, yeah. You used to look after a graveyard one time, did you? Yes, you I were... used to look after Kilbride Cemetery. Uh, my parents are b both buried mm. there. I took it over. You couldn't get into it at the time I took it. So uh, all the local people and us all, we all got together and... Uh, I've I got the job done and I'm finished now and somebody else is taking care of it now. There's a committee. Yeah, well you've done your thing, yeah. I've done my thing, yes. You're the first man to get involved. In I was the first less. one, myself and Father Raymond Kulkanen. He's over in Knock now, he's retired. Well, you made a great job and it's really tidied up now, isn't it? Yeah, right, I was at it? a funeral and we couldn't get in with briars and ditches and everything and I went down to the priest and from that onwards I started going to different people and went to different builders and they all, we all got together one day and we, we started it and there's footpaths in it now and we have a beautiful statue there was donated to us uh, of Our Lady and we also put up a lovely statue of St. Bridget. Mm. Uh, St. Bridget had a church there at the time so the people in Newport all chipped in and we put a lovely statue as you go in the gate. And who was Anne Bridget? She was uh, a famous saint. She was from Kildare. But she had a church years ago in Kilbride. And is there any bit of the church left yet? Or no, there's a holy water pond next to Our Lady. Um, you're talking going back nearly 200 years. So there's an, a, a holy water pond down there from the ruins of the church. I love Kong. It's mm. a lovely village. And... Uh, I, I, when I finish work in the evenings, I have the old pieces of bread and I bring them down and I feed the ducks on the bridge. And in and the, the town? In the town. The ducks yeah. comes up to me. The minute they see me, they come running to me. I love ducks. So do you know, know a lot of people in Kong? You know, well, I do. I know, you know them all as well. I know the O'Connors and I know the Rhines and the Leidens mm. and I know the Flins and the Mordens and... Uh, and we're all, we all, they all meet me down the village when I go for my walk in the evenings after I finish work. Yeah. That's a big tourist town, Kong, yeah? Oh, it's a fantastic yeah. tourist town. Mm. It's beautiful. Some beautiful coffee shops down there. Mm. Do you have much to do with Westport? I do, yeah. On my days off, I come up to meet the locals. I, I, I have good friends here in Westport. I have uh, Cullum uh, McLaughlin over in Market 57. Mm. Yeah. I, I go there to buy my nice my, uh, chutney and my little drop of wine. I love a little drop of red yeah. wine at night. And you exchange a few words, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Go down to the church then, maybe, and light a candle and meet Father Charlie. How do you, how do you like Father Charlie? He's a nice priest, yeah. great fun, very, very funny. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you don't go to, do you go to the pubs in Westport now, no? Um, or do you go to the pubs at all? Uh, I don't really, mm. I'm not into pubs, you know, if I come to Westport I might go in to hear the music uh, at Matt Malloy's, I mm. love that Irish music. Mm. No shortage from Westport? No, lots of pubs in Westport. Oh, lots of music in Westport? And lots of music, yeah, mm. it's a wonderful town. And lots of nice restaurants in Westport too. And nice people? And nice people, yeah. They're 